Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome to a uh, question and answer video, the uh, the rebirth of let's answer some questions, more or less. Um, ask questions below, and I'll and I will answer them next week. And uh, again, I would recommend everyone like make sure your questions are somewhat, I guess, meaningful. Like uh, like if you just have like let's play suggestions or something, I would recommend you. Uh, send a message, like, uh, in private messages, or something like that, but, um, the first question comes in from MD, who says, what is your ideal Spider-Man game, main villain, which Spider-Man would you play as, important characters, etc., um, in my mind, the, uh, the ideal Spider-Man game is a cross between Spider-Man for the for the uh, PlayStation and uh, Spider-Man 2, the movie game, as in sort of 616 universe, um, exploring, like, your map is all of, like, New York, um, having the, uh, the good sort of, the, the, the clever dialogue and, um, good voice actors of that Spider-Man for the PS1. Actually, when I think of it, I guess Ultimate Spider-Man is probably probably that, like it, like a uh, barring the um the 616 um part of it. Um I would say that if Ultimate Spider-Man were to like be remade or something with like sort of modern day graphics, but at the same time because of, like Ultimate Spider-Man was a cell shaded it's like when you look at it, you wouldn't really say that it looks bad by day to day standards because cell shading, those are like cell shading is like always cell shading. Um, but yeah, I would say like all of New York probably, um, and like just like uh, Ultimate Spider Man, probably like Queens as well. Um, when it comes to villains, uh, I'm not really sure, I would say sort of like probably just like uh, the first like Spidey for the PS1, just like really just a whole assortment um, of like random baddies and all that. Um, major characters, uh, I guess I could see like Mary Jane, that's all I can really think of. Uh, maybe, uh, J. Jonah Jameson, Aunt May, like your sort of typical, um, Spider-Man people. And obviously you would play as a regular Spider-Man. Yeah, I guess that would, that would be my answer to sort of like a, like a sort of a revamped Ultimate Spider-Man almost. The Money Grabber Count asks, what is my headphones model? These themselves are, um, I believe Sennheiser PC-151s. Um, it's a, like a, I think like if you look up like, he, um, Sennheiser USB headset microphone, I think like these probably come up like first, but, um, the thing that I'm actually speaking to, I think this actually t um, ties into a, Destructo's question, he says, I've been wondering, what kind of mic is that in front of you? Like the big round one, is it, is that even a mic? I see tons of YouTubers using it, and it looks strange for a mic, if it is one. Um, this is the microphone that I actually use, this is the, uh, the Blue Yeti, and, um, if I, if I was to, like, to switch to the actual headset, um, you would notice a whole lot of difference, because of the, it's quite staticky and stuff, but like it actually, like if you're just like gaming or something, or like talking to people on Skype, this uh, does fairly well. I've actually been thinking of, um, I've sort of, a ch I think I might have changed my mind for now, I'm not quite sure, but I, I uh, have had thoughts of like upgrading my audio equipment, like a whole bunch, like uh, getting a uh, an audio technica like... 2055 or something, um, 
a preamp and all that like really hardcore stuff because the thing about this is I have this on a boom stand and um so it's not very mobile unless I want to like pick it up and it's quite heavy um because I got like weight at the back of it to make sure it doesn't like a uh, like sag and stuff and um as you can see, like, my television is right here. Like, my computer is, like, in front of me. So, like, uh, if I want to record, like, PS3 games or something, like, it's a bit difficult to, like, have to pick up the microphone and all that. Um, so, and, uh, so, I've, I want to get a, uh, instead of using this boom stand, I would like to use a, a Rode... Um, Rode makes these, like, uh, clamp mounts that, like, uh, you clamp onto a desk or whatever, and, like, swivels back and forth, which would be really useful for me. But, um, I'm not really sure if the Yeti would do very good here, because with all the electronics that I have on this desk, there's a lot of vibration going throughout the desk. And when you have a condenser microphone, which is like what this is, um, it picks up vibrations very well. And so, to cancel out the vibrations, you want a uh, a shock mount, which is like a like a little thing that you attach to the microphone that like absorbs the uh, the vibrations. And um, I got like a Blue makes a um, a type of shock mount specifically for the Yeti, and um, I got one. But it turns out, for whatever reason, the, uh, the the shock mount is notorious for not working. Um, I, I'm not really sure if there was like an error in production or something, but a lot of um, a lot of the uh, the shock mounts just don't fit the microphone, and uh, I could like try to get another one. But it's, that would be a bit of a, a risk. And so I've sort of just thought about is getting a, a new microphone, um, new stand, and everything. And um, I've also thought about upgrading these headphones because um, I'm, no, I'm, by, I'm by no means like an audiophile. Like uh, I couldn't really tell, tell the difference between like true basses and uh, false basses or whatever you want to call it. Um, but I've, I, I've looked into... Um, Audio Technica does another sort of type of a uh, headphone, like I like cannot name right now, but uh, I've I've thought about like just kind of upgrading all of this, but for the most part, like it's all it's all pretty good. And uh, the Blue Yeti, um, I would say it's sort of I say it's like most people's go um go to because of um like it's it's relatively like for a microphone. Like, like of its quality and all that, like it's um cheap. I think it's like a hundred dollars or whatever. Um, and when used correctly, like it, like it sounds really, really good. Um, and for the most part, like it's simple. Like it's it's a USB. Uh, most condenser microphones are uh, XLR, so you need like some sort of um like preamp or something to uh to like use them but uh like it's a really good just sort of like plug in and play um really good sounding microphone if you if uh people do get it or whatever if like if people are like asking as because they're, they're like curious as to getting a microphone i would recommend getting uh getting some sort of stand like i've got because uh, the stand that it comes with is not very good, like it's very short, and um, unless like the desk is like a uh, level-headed with you, um, you probably wouldn't really, probably wouldn't work out very well. And also get a pop filter, which is basically this thing that like blocks out um, certain noises. So pa 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 pa.
It's magic. Um, Melanie Mari, uh, Melanie Maria says, uh, maybe you can mix, uh, Pepino Lemon Gatorade with something for a drink challenge. And would you ever consider doing other challenges that are kind of popular on YouTube, like baby food or tin can? Um, when it comes to drink challenges, I would say, yeah, like, uh, like send me like a message or whatever. Of like anything that, that you think would be cool and um i could definitely get to it uh like i've thought of a recently i had an idea so i just tried to um because in the past i've done milk and pepsi and uh, pep, uh milk and gatorade or milk and uh, mountain dew and i thought about there's like doing them all together just doing um milk mountain dew and pepsi Possibly even, like, sprinkling some monster in there. Um. But, but your, your request is noted. And would I ever consider doing other challenges that are popular on YouTube, like baby food or tin can? Um. Absolutely. And that's sort of, like, I guess, like, how I've, how I would get my ideas, really. Um. Because instead of, I haven't really got much originality when it comes to those sort of things. So uh, that's, I would sort of rely on others for, for my ideas. Um, I, ha I hadn't thought of a baby food or the tin can, but uh, I could definitely try them. And uh, l lastly, look, uh, Micah's Movie Trailers asks, Liquid, what's your favorite Spider-Man villain? I'll probably just, like, be very, um... Bland or whatever, or generic, and just say Venom. I think uh, he was, like, the first Spider-Man villain that I ever really knew about. And, um... Like, in the PlayStation 1 game, um... You know, he was sort of... Like that, that was like how I sort of really got into Spider-Man a lot. And he was uh, like this really, really like, like he was, he was a figure, you know what I mean? He was uh, portrayed as, he, he was portrayed really well. And uh, I guess that's just sort of stuck with me. And so I think he's pretty good. Though I, I think that, um, I'm not really sure if, uh, I'm probably missing something, but I'm not really sure if, uh, there's much, like, if, like, much stuff has, like, really used him as well as that PS1 video game, but, uh, I would say he's really good, and so that's all the questions for now, um, again, ask questions below, I'll answer them next week. And, um, hopefully this actually becomes sort of a series and the, we don't just get to a point where, like, I get no questions or something, because that would be quite embarrassing. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you for watching, and, uh, look it out.